a CNA Brenningmeyer trick. Opportunity costs and Deckungsbeitrag. Gross margin dollars, not percentages. CNA's unconventional German merchandising method is quite different from basic retail theory. The Dutch name is Rekenen in centen in plaats van procenten. In English, making money instead of maintaining margins. Basically, in merchandising, there are four different systems. The most well-known is gross margin percentage focused. It is used by Eddie Lampert at Sears Kmart as well as Mark Bolland at Marks & Spencer. The second system is increasing sales per square foot. This is what Walmart does. The third is trying to calculate the profitability of each individual product through activity-based costing or direct product profitability. It is so complex that few retailers have been able to implement it. In this video, you'll learn about a fourth system from Germany called Deckungsbeitrag and Opportunity Costs. You won't find this in English language retail textbooks. CNA used Deckungsbeitrag from 1906 until management at CNA stopped speaking German and Deckungsbeitrag was lost in translation. Deckungsbeitrag is used to compare articles in the assortment. Consider, for example, selling a polyester and a silk dress. The customer pays the selling price and some money goes to the factory which made the dress. What is important is the margin per piece expressed in dollars. Stuckdeckungsbeitrag, the abbreviation is DB. Per polyester dress, the customer pays CNA $7 and 1,000 dresses are sold, resulting in a Deckungsbeitrag of $7,000 with a capital DB. This helps fund CNA's operating expenses, rent, salaries, etc. If operating expenses are $36,000, then earnings, in this case, are $1,000. We might want to focus on one customer segment and sell 2,000 pieces of one type of dress instead of two times thousand of each. What is more profitable? Here we see that a pure silk assortment results in earnings of $24,000 compared to a loss of $22,000 with a polyester assortment. If we choose to stock only polyester instead of silk, will incur an opportunity cost of $46,000. The difference in Deckungsbeitrag flows through directly to the bottom line. This isn't rocket science, but adding in percentages can make profitable decisions seem crazy. Here's the Deckungsbeitrag framework. Earnings is Deckungsbeitrag minus expenses. Here's the percentage-based framework. Earnings is sales times margin percentage minus expenses percentage. Sales were $100,000 and expenses were 36% off sales. When you're looking back at your financial statements, the average margin percentage must be higher than the expense percentage, otherwise you made a loss. English and Dutch retailers might, however, base future assortment decisions on the assumption of a 36% operating expense. The real trick is understanding that these percentages are a part of the past. Present planning and decision-making going forward should be based on Deckungsbeitrag and opportunity costs. Not understanding this trick can be fatal. Kmart, for example, worked to increase its average gross margin percentage by shifting to inexpensive high-margin clothing, assuming it would increase earnings. The polyester dress assortment has a gross margin of 70%, but looking back expense as a percentage of sales has increased to more than 100% of sales. Kmart went bankrupt as a result of barking up the wrong profit tree. Rule of thumb, you cannot take percentages to the bank. On the other hand, switching to a 33.3% gross margin assortment seems like a kamikaze mission. People assume that you can't take something that costs 36% to sell, shift to a 33% margin and hope to make up the difference in volume. When selling only silk, the gross margin drops to 33%, 
which was under my expense percentage the year before, but expenses as a percentage of the increased sales have dropped to 20%. Rule of thumb, if you're making more Deckungsbeitrag, you're earning more money. The percentages take care of themselves. Thanks for your time. Hopefully now you understand one of the secrets of CNA's success. Please share this video and contact me for more information. I would appreciate that very much.